How are we doing Adventure Academy? It's another video from the wilds of Albert County and as you can see it's a beautiful day. And of course the exposures for this video are going to change a little bit but in order to really share the view with you I'll go out so it can come in. Super nice. Well, today we're looking at uh, the second video in what's going to be a, basically a series, a long-term review of the Cold Steel Mini Leatherneck. And as it's Tanto Tuesday, it seemed appropriate to film today. Although, as you know, at the Adventure Academy, it's always Tanto Tuesday. So we're out stretching our legs and trying to get some physical fitness here in the spring with the Rabo Cypress and talking about the, the Cold Steel mini leatherneck and so so far we've done a little bit of stuff um, the edge grind came a little bit asymmetrical you can see that the the grinds on the blade themselves are it's almost hollow but it's probably flat ground it feels like it might be slightly hollow the uh, edge grind was more pronounced on the one side so on the show side it was a little deeper uh, crappy v-edge than it was on the non-show side that's something that we're gonna fix anyway because as you know we love the convex edges here at the Adventure Academy uh, so we put a little stone on it there because it was uh, it was burred up pretty good but at this price point it's really nothing to complain about and frankly if you're buying 8 CR13 MLV and you're not someone that sharpens knives you will be so we wrote, did uh, we did about 30 bags of peat moss into the garden yesterday, cutting them open with this thing, uh, shanking the bag, give you a nice handle to lift on, uh, just really not being super nice to the edge. And it did manage to peel most of the sharpness out of it. It was uh, definitely not sharp enough to slice through the page of a phone book, but it was still enough there as a working edge. Uh, blade length is just about right, and of course it's got the perfect tip for everything. It's Tanto Tuesdays. Uh, the handle is a little short. I've got what I would call a, a, a thick medium hand. So generally I wear a medium glove, but they uh, I like them to fit as close as they can. And so we can see here that with the handle, four fingers, there's really not much handle left. Um, and the guard is very pronounced, so it's at least it's bent forward a little bit, so that makes it more comfortable with this because it's smaller. Um, there's a lot, definitely some talk about potentially moving the upper part of the guard, although I believe the guard is part of the retention, so I might decrease my retention in order to get that ability to, to choke up and put a thumb over, which I personally I think would really unlock a lot of the potential of this knife. Uh, the handle is grippy. It's got a nice brass tube lanyard hole, uh, if you're into that sort of thing. It fits very securely in the scabbard, however it only goes into the scabbard the one way. Uh, backwards scabbard insertion does not work at all. It won't even just to even take the tip of the knife, so it's not an ambidextrous scabbard. Uh, the scabbard, what we're doing with it, our solution was basically, let's see if we can show that off. We just tied some paracord in order to create some belt loops so that we could try it. Uh, scout carry on either side, that sort of thing. So far, uh, over the belt's the way to go. For me, scout's not really working out very well. Uh, because when you sit in the car for any period of time, it really presses into those uh, main arteries in the back, and uh, that's just not fun. Uh, overall, so far, it's a really nice piece. I can't wait to uh, enjoy it more out here in the Atlantic Canadian bushlands and uh, see what it can do. So, Tanto Tuesday, another preliminary video from the Adventure Academy. We'll give you another peek at what the real reason that we all do this. There it is over and underexposed. What a day. Well, <clears throat> gotta get back to work. And so, from all of us to all of you, we hope that every day and in every way, you stay sharp. Take care.